What Russia has done here and where the true brilliance of this intelligence operation comes from is way back in the early 2000s, the Russian military conducted a strategic study and started carrying out a disinformation plan in which they said that instead of carrying out kinetic warfare against your enemies, the best thing we can do is create a disinformation frame around that nation to the point where over time, as we are constantly tearing them apart and feeding them with false information, they would actually welcome an invasion. So Russia has done that to the United States. And it began way before 2016. As a matter of fact, the earliest references I have uh, with relation to Donald Trump shows that it started back in 2011 with Maria Butina and the NRA contacts, contacts with the fundamentalist uh, Christian right and the alt-right in the United States. Russia was pushing these disinformation themes then. Then in 2013, they stood up the Russian Federation Internet Research Agency, which built all of these memes and tropes, which became the cruise missiles of fake news and disinformation designed to do what it did today, take one third of the United States population and make them refuse to believe what they see before their very eyes and may have elected a president in the process. Welcome to Andrew Says, and I know that was very confusing, but stick with me, there's more craziness to come. So that was the 11th hour on NBC, and I saw that the other night on Tucker Carlson Tonight. So according to Nance, since 2011, and I'm reading here, Donald Trump, the NRA, fundamentalist Christians, the alt-right, and the Russians set out to brainwash Americans. Now, I know it's very confusing. I had to just read it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out the whiteboard for you. Okay, this is a much better place to do it now. More space, more space. So what we have here is, according to Nance, 2011 to 2018, or up to 2016, however you want to, however you want to do it, he's said that it's still happening. So we've got Trump, plus Russia, plus the NRA, plus the fundamentalist Christian right, plus the alt-right, keeping in mind that that was not an actual thing. Nobody was referring to anything as alt-right back then, so somehow it's all these groups, plus the NRA, fundamentalist Christians, alt-rights, they created the memes to brainwash one-third of the American population, according to Nance, which is 108 million U.S. citizens. So... Memes, Trump, Russia, alt-right, creating memes, 108 million Americans brainwashed from this. If you think it was that simple, if you thought it couldn't be any more complex than that, think again. They have played on the, the themes of far-right conspiracy theorists from the 1960s. The John Birch Society, a, a sideline group, uh, you know, and the farthest extremes of the libertarian parties. They have amplified racism to the point where the alt-right, Steve Bannon's own creation of gamers, is now of the wholly owned subsidiary of the Trump campaign and are believers in David Duke, the Ku Klux Klan, Richard and Richard Spencer, uh, the neo-Nazi, and Robert Spencer, the Islamophobe, to the point where they're mainstreamed. This is how effective this information warfare campaign has been carried out. And let me tell you, this report shows how they went after to suppress the African-American vote. And there is no doubt in my mind or anybody else's in the intelligence community that doesn't believe that it took American citizens to assist them in really getting down to where these voters were who needed to be suppressed. Okay, new players. It's very hard to follow along. We're back at the whiteboard. I'll even bring it up a bit for you. It's been updated. So we left off at 108 million brainwashed U.S. citizens. So now they've been using 1960s, 1960s conspiracy theories. I wasn't aware that was going on. Plus Steve Bannon, plus the all right. Remind you, this, the all right would probably be, probably be quite angry with Steve Bannon for working with Milo Yiannopoulos and Ben Shapiro in the past, but we'll just pretend he's all right anyways, because that's what we do. The all right gamers that somehow Steve Bannon created, remember he said, that they created this, these all right gamers who support the KKK and Richard Spencer and have since bring brought him into the mainstream somehow I'm not sure if Richard Spencer is mainstream for a good reason or maybe it's because people don't like him but we won't talk about that and therefore they are suppressing the African American vote so 60s memes uh, 60s conspiracy sorry Steve Bannon over here with his alt-right gamer crew 
supporting Trump and the KKK as well somehow. Um, that's suppressing the vote. Now I know I saw Nance uh, somewhere else and that was on the Bill Maher show with Milo Yiannopoulos. So let's take a look at that. All I know is this. I have one quick question. I'm not a journalist and right. I may just be an old spy, but you were, t <laughs> you were talking about confusion. Were we talking about you? What? Because you sound very confused. You were talking about, about people being confused about their sexuality, the no, position in the world. No, I'm you know, not. I mean, I've been to Port Said in Naples, and you look like you've been there a few times. But <laughs> are, because you seem to be very yeah, confused you're, you're about who you are and what you are. You're the one, you are you the one you pulling are. your wallet out, sweetheart. Yeah, that's um, right, Chipmate. Oh. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that's... See, do you always have to fight with everybody? I can't don't. You just, can't we you were just having get such a nice for... time, but I you know. always invite such awful people on your show. These are not... They're so stupid. Look at... No, come on, you need, to, you need to start uh, inviting higher <laughs> IQ guests. Or this is is your Nazis. argument is that these people are stupid. You didn't hear a word this man said no. early in this segment because yes. he can talk circles around your right. pathetic, this guy. douchey little ass for me. <laughs> Just one quick question. Yes, yes. Are you the real true face of the alt-right? Because I thought the Nazis were in there. How did they take you on board? I, you know, it's, this is one of the enduring mysteries of American media. Oh, it's How a can mystery. this movement be well. an anti-Semitic, white supremacist, hateful, bigoted, racist, homophobic movement and With a gay Jew who never shuts up about his black boyfriend is the head of it? Something's not quite right. Yeah. Now, I know, I know, it's Milo being Milo, but this... This guy can talk circles around you? I mean, that's clearly not true. This is a whole lot of stuff just thrown in. He's thrown in every buzzword, alt-right, Steve Bannon, Russia, that he can. And, and people are just eating it up. And he basically attacks Milo on the show for being gay and calling him gender confused. Which is interesting because that seems to be supported. However, Milo had just said the exact same thing. And they were getting all right, riled up about it, swearing at him calling, him, calling him all these names. So how can one side say one thing? And everybody be mad at it but the other side says the exact same thing but directed at a person on purpose to hurt them but it's okay and msnbc will have nance on again they've had him on several times joy reed is allowed to have her show still um even though she had like the anti-gay blogs or whatever and then she said she didn't remember it or it was hacked uh the old my facebook was hacked hacked last night guys excuse and then mika brzezinski saying butt boy now none of this is offensive to me but if they're going to live up to their own standards, then these people can't continue. Because if you're going to say that everybody should be deplatformed or banned or boycotted for all this stuff that you say is hate-filled and bigoted, then how are you going to sit there and tell us what's what, meanwhile you're not feel, uh, following your own rules? Do you think they would ever have Milo on? No, they would not, which is why you need to give Bill Maher credit when it's due for having people from the other side on. Even though he probably agrees with them 90% of the time, he is still a major DNC donor. If you didn't know, back in 2016, I think it was, 2015-ish, uh, he made his own super PAC for the administration, a million dollars of his own money. So the point is, next time you think you're just playing Fallout or you're just playing uh, Fortnite, you're actually taking part in an alt-right conspiracy theory, which is supporting the KKK and Richard Spencer and suppressing the black vote. So just remember that. I'm Andrew Says, and I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once.